Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thanks for stopping by for a visit and coming to hang out with me in the yarn room for a little bit. I appreciate you all very, very much. And I hope you're having a great day. And so, last night, Big Daddy and I went to Elijah's work for a grand opening ribber, ribbon cutting ceremony type thing. Um, the place he works for is actually opening this next week. And so they were having a, um, a tour type thing. And it's just certain people were invited. And so Elijah had invited us to come. So we went and we had a good time. Um, our oldest son, Dakota, ended up coming when he got off work. And so he didn't get there till about the time we were really ready to leave <laughs> but he you know got a walk through and got to see everything too and so it's a super nice place i will try my best to remember to pop in some photos and actually i think um i should just do that here i'll pop in some photos of um us at the event and some photos of the place itself it looks like a really cozy nice place So we had a good time um, and then afterwards Elijah was going to stay and do some things after everyone left so um, Jody and I and our son Dakota we ended up going to a Mexican restaurant and they ate well, I did eat some guacamole <laughs> and then um, just sat and visited for a little while and caught up you know Dakota's week so that's what we did tonight and um it was it was fun i enjoyed it very very much so in this video i wanted to share with you guys um some etsy orders that i have placed and i have now received so let me just show you guys what i got and this first one um definitely gonna blame on kim at the crafty nomad she had ordered a bag and showed her bag and I was like oh that's so cute before I knew it I had done ordered a bag <laughs> it says llama mama Kayla at the bottom I will um I will leave a link to the Etsy shop where I purchased this at in the description box below but it is a nice canvas bag and it has um a deep pocket here where she put the yarn bowl, yarn ball, and crochet hook, and then Llama Mama Kayla. Now, Kim didn't make these. Kim had ordered one from somewhere else um, on Etsy, and she left the link. And so I clicked on the link to just see, and before I knew it, I done bought a bag. <laughs> um, this very nice, sturdy handles. It zips up. Um, there's not any pockets on the inside, but it does open up pretty wide there. 
and then it's got the two mesh pockets here on the sides and then this deep pocket right here so it's a very nice bag and it has a zipper that zips up um wait was that a no okay so then it has the zipper here and anyway it has very nice handles and the other side is just black and this bag does come in lots of other colors. So if you're in the market for a bag, this might be somewhere you can look. I'll leave the link to this particular Etsy shop in the description box below the video. But I like it. I like how sturdy it is and what a nice bag it is. And the other thing, you may have noticed in some videos that I was crocheting with a strap. On my hand now and I uh, now I'm crocheting without a strap okay to start projects I definitely have to put a strap on and start my to do my chains or they just like spin around <laughs> um, I have to put a strap on so I can use my thumb to hold that yarn still while I'm chaining because if I don't that yarns just spinning and then once I get the project kind of going, if I have a hook with a big handle, I can crochet without the strap. If I don't have a big handle, it hurts my hand too bad. Like a small, this size handle um, is just too cramped. It cramps my hand way too bad. So I can't crochet like that. I need big handles so I had that uh, finger crochet hook and that is a J hook a six millimeter hook and so I've been able to crochet with it so I thought well I need to start looking for crochet hooks and bigger handles so I got on there and um I know that I want to do some amigurumis and I want to use a four millimeter hook so I got on looking for that and I found this crochet hook right here with macaroons macarons my son always gets on to me for saying that wrong macarons um, cookies and so he makes these um, he has made these for years and years and years and they're always so good but anyway he makes them at the bakery and um, I thought, well, that would be a good, you know, bigger handle for me. So I ordered this in a four millimeter hook, and um, I'll be able to hold that and to crochet. So, yeah, I thought it was very cute, colorful, real pretty. Um, I think I'm going to have to write. You can barely see the four right here, so I might just write me a four right here with a sharpie just so um you know i know anyway let me just tell you where this came from and she did send me a little chocolate cupcake stitch marker and her hooks were on etsy and they were very reasonable priced um you know i did a lot of searching and a lot of looking <laughs> at different um, Etsy shops before I actually um, you know placed an order um, her, she's called Susie J's polymer clay sweets and treats um, and her name is Amber Let's just see if I can share that there with y'all. The little chocolate cupcake um, stitch marker is very cute. And let's see. Um, and then she wrote a little note that just says, uh, thanks so much for your order. Enjoy. Amber. So her name is Amber, but the name of the shop is Susie J's. And she has lots of, um, I believe, stitch markers and crochet hooks. So I will be ordering from her again, most definitely, because I need um, some different size hooks with 
you know, big handles. Um, on Etsy, she is Susie J's Etsy dot com. So if you just look up Susie J's, you'd probably find her. But I will link her below in the description box. Um, like I said, her pricing of her hooks were was very reasonable. Um, there's some that's just like way out there, you know, like really expensive. <laughs> And hers are so cute. So, so cute. You can just see. Let's see. It's three, six, seven, eight different macarons. Macarons. <laughs> but I like that. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of my son, Dakota, since he, you know, has made those cookies for a long time. But yeah, I'll be able to crochet. And do some amigurumis with the four millimeter hook now that I have a hook that I can hold and it's not going to cramp my hands so bad. I'll have to start it with a regular four millimeter and a strap, but then I can move to this once I get going on the project. So, yeah, I just wanted to share those items with you. And if you want the link to look up this Etsy shop, either one of the Etsy shops, check my description box below. Um, I do plan to leave the description there, but, um, I'm very pleased with that. I think it's a, um, adorable hook and the bag also is very pretty. I did order a teal color. Um, that bag comes in lots of colors. And so, yeah, if you're in the market for a bag, a nice sturdy canvas bag, check out that link and check out Susie J's crochet hooks. Um, but anyway, guys, I am going to get off here and go get some other things done, but I hope you all have a great day, and remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye, friends. That is just so cute. I love it. I love it. I don't have to use my stitch marker. I might use it like a progress keeper, but it is so cute.